Hey, I've got VCarb Pro open, and what I'd like to do is I had a question on what is a roughing bit and why do we use it? And I, I had some trouble with this in the beginning when I first started using the long mill. I, you know, I kind of was new to it, so I had a lot to learn. Using a roughing bit, then using a finish bit, in which toolpath to use, all that stuff confused me. I had a friend that bought a file from Etsy. He was struggling with it and how to get it started. So what I'm going to do here is, is he had a couple of questions. He had a question about how to resize. It's fairly simple in, in Vectric software, VCard Pro especially, to resize. You can make anything you want to any size, as long as your machine is capable of it. You can also create a toolpath for that using roughing bits. The first thing we're going to do is bring in the file. I'm going to come over here to open an existing file, and I'm going to bring in this file here. I'm not going to be carving this. I'm just going to be using it as an example to show this particular process. Now, the person he bought it from made this sign well, a little about 20 and a half by almost 40 inches. It's it's quite large. It's obviously, if you have a 30 by 30 long mill, you're not going to be able to carve this width. You have to bring it down a little bit. And I understand that you need to resize an American flag based on the proper dimensions. And there's a, there's a file that you can go to and uh, change the size of your flag so that it, it maintains the proper sizes. But in this case, all he wants to do is do a practice piece, and he wants to shrink it so that he can get used to his machine a little bit and the file and using two bits. So uh, I'm going to shrink it, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. But first, we need to go over here, and I'm going to delete the tool paths that are in here, okay? And how I do that is I select the tool pass, I right click on it, delete, and delete all. And that takes care of deleting the tool pass. So come up here to switch design to commands. And we're going to come back over here, make sure everything is selected. It is. Go to transform objects. Second icon in is set selected object size. I know, I know, you probably scrolled over it a hundred times, but. You know, it is what it is. We're all learning here. I'm still learning. So what we want to do here is I think I'm going to make this a 20-inch flag. Now, in order to maintain the aspect ratio, and it, those of you who don't know what the aspect ratio is, is that shrinks it so that it doesn't distort. And you want this link X and Y checked. Now I'm going to make it 20 inches. And then I'm going to hit apply. And you can see that my workspace is the size of the original flag. It really doesn't matter if we change that or don't change it. It's okay. But uh, now we've shrunk our flag. It's equally smaller. Not distorted in any way. So we're going to close this. Now I'm going to show you how to create the tool pass for this particular flag. Now, I haven't seen a picture of this. Based on what I'm looking at here, it appears that you can do several different things. Because it's got a border, it's going to take whatever piece of material you put in it, it's going to inset the whole flag in it. So that's what we're going to do here, and I'll show you a, a preview after we're done. But... I want to do a V-carve because we're going to do a V-carve in the stars. And also, it will put a V-carve profile on each one of these uh, stripes. So, let's go over here to V-carve. Click that. Our start depth is going to be zero. Let's decide how deep we want this. I think I'm going to do 0 0.125. I'm going to use a 60-degree V-bit. I have a quarter inch 60 degree 
that I am currently using in my V-Carve inlay series. And I really like that bit. It was a, you know, it's a straight bit with straight quarter inch with a, a fluted 60 degree, which is really, really nice. It does a fantastic job. If you want to use a clearance tool, which you absolutely do because you you don't want your V-bit to have to clear all the, the space in here. It would take forever and it wouldn't it wouldn't look good. So, you know, this is pointed. So think about that. How long would that take? So we want to use a clearance tool. I'm going to use an eighth inch down cut and I'm going to use the offset. And how that works is that starts in the middle and works its way out. Could go back and forth, I suppose. I kind of like that particular motion. For me, it makes it simpler to uh, do the sanding, that kind of stuff. Because I'm only going in an eighth of an inch, I don't need to ramp the plunge moves. We're not worried about that right now. I just want to I want to explain the end mill for the clearance path and that's basically the only reason i would use a clearance tool is if i'm using a v-bit and we're clearing out a lot of material you don't want the v-bit to have to do that if you're doing just a sign with a v-bit you don't need a clearance tool most of the time depending on your design you have to pretty much decide that on your own what your design looks like whether or not you need a clearance bit or not. Most often times when you're doing flags, I know you need clearance tools. It just makes the job go quicker. We've got our start depth and we've got our V-bit selected. We've got our flat depth, which is as deep as we're gonna go in this carve. Now we need to calculate the tool path. And there it is. It gives us our stripes, everything, all our stars. Now, how about we preview all these tool paths and show you what this flag is going to look like. Now, remember, this is a big piece of project area. Okay. Now, you can see that the whole flag is recessed in this piece of wood, including the stars. And that's kind of a cool look. I really like that look. And what enables you to be able to do that is the border on the outside. It, it enables you to uh, carve everything within that border. We're going to close the preview and I'm going to show you how to save your tool pass. Now, if you go up here to save, you're going to see some options. Selected tool path, visible tool path to one file, visible tool path to multiple files. You want to be able to, depending on what machine you have, if you have a long mill, you're using Gerbil. So you're going to need separate tool paths because it, it won't automatically just stop so you can change your bit. In order to do this, it's just as simple we create separate tool paths. So all the visible tool paths, it gives you what you've got here. It's gonna give you your 60 degree and your end mill tool paths, and it's gonna save them for you. All you do is click save tool paths. It'll ask you where to put them, and then you save them there, and then you run each individual tool path in uh, G Sender and carve your flag and that's all there really is to it pretty simple very nice design this gentleman created this flag uh very nice design we you know we can uh we can create a lot of things in vcar pro flags are really really a nice a nice carve on our long mill so yeah go ahead and and uh, get yourself a, a flag get started i hope that answered your questions Hey, happy carving, everybody. Be safe out there.